All right, we got a wipe air install on this 2020 Tacoma. So what we're gonna do, let's see, let me get started. So we're gonna drill some holes in the back wheel well. As you can see, I already drilled one hole right here. I measured about two and a half inches out from the um, resi and then an inch and a half down. And that's where I have the hole. And the Schrader valve is gonna come out from the back side of the frame. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of Loctite on there. And put the nut in. Just like that. So now I'm on the driver's side. I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite. I'm in the front passenger side wheel well. I'm gonna take a look at this upper control arm. This point right here goes straight up. And then from this point, I measure three quarters of an inch up and made a mark here. And that's where I'm gonna drill a hole for the Schrader valve. And if you just make sure there's nothing behind it, you need about a three inches in the back, make sure it's clear. Okay, so there's the mark and drill a hole there for the Schrader valve. And then on the driver's side, same thing. I'm using the upper control arm as a reference, go straight up, about three quarters of an inch from right there, make a mark. Check the back, make sure you got a few inches of clearance in the back. It's not gonna hit anything. Drill a hole, mount the Schrader valve right there. We are in the driver's side, wheel well in the front, where you got the hole drilled out, Schrader valve in, in place. I'm gonna put a bit of Loctite right there. the nut. I think I was blocking the camera but that's what it looks like right there. Let's see if I can get in there. Okay so you want to just get it tight enough, not too tight, because then you can strip the threading. Just like that. All right, get your Schrader valve. Look it through the hole. A little bit of Loctite. Grab the nut. You don't want to make it too tight. Just tight enough. Like I said before, if you do it too tight, you're going to strip the thread. Okay, so right here, I'm running the hose underneath. I'm sorry about the uh, hyper speed. Uh, I accidentally changed the setting on the GoPro, but it's I'm just running the hose on the passenger side to the rear. So, I don't know if you can see the hose, but... Here's the end. And there's the Schrader valve in the rear right. So what I'm gonna do is stick the hose in the quick connect and then I'm gonna zip tie 
the hose to whatever I can up along the frame. Okay, so I got a couple zip ties there. So I'm gonna go move forward to the front. But as you can see, right there, hold on. So we're above the exhaust, so I kind of want to push the hose that, more that way. Like that. And get it away from the heat as much as possible. So I'm going to zip tie it right there. Same thing over here. Try to keep the hose behind that heat shielded wire. Just like that. Just find things to zip tie the hose to. Whatever you think is secure. Can't really go wrong, just as long as it's away from the heat. So we are now here at the front. So what I'm gonna do is zip tie it to this side of the heat shielded wire loom and then run the rest up into the firewall. Okay, so we got the hose coming from underneath. Up the firewall, and this is the passenger side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the hose right about right here. Just like that. Got my splitter. Take this extra hose, put it here in the fitting to the passenger side wheel well, the front. Put it right there. Just like that. Oh. Okay, so we got the hose right there. One coming from underneath, the other one from the shredder valve. So I'm going to take a hose and go up all along the upper firewall to the other side. A zip tie. Alright, so I got the hose all zip tied to the wire loom. So right there, and I just gotta go all the way to the end. This is going to go to the air compressor. 
This one's gonna go the driver's side rear, driver's side front. So we're gonna run the hose down the driver's side firewall. Pull it out right there. And then we're gonna run it this way to the rear. So we're gonna run the hose to the back. Just feed it through. Just came out over there. Here's a quick feeding. Here's the end of the hose. Pop that in. And then zip tie the hose to secure it. So here's my hose. I got a zip tie right there. Okay. So up right here. I got a zip tie to that hose, right to that wire, that loomed wire. Put the zip tie. Okay, so I got a zip tie there, zip tie there, zip tie, zip tie. And then it just goes up above the frame. So I got it zip tied right there, and then right there, and then now the hose goes up to the firewall. Okay, so this is the hose that's coming from the rear of the driver's side. So I'm going to plug it into this quick connect splitter right there and then this other free one i'm going to connect the hose to go to the front driver's side wheel well Hose plugged in to the uh, driver's side front wheel well. The hose is coming back around into the splitter. And that's what it looks like. This one's from the rear, this one's from the front. And it comes up to this other splitter in this empty slot right here. I'm going to kick connect the hose from here to the uh, air manifold. I'm going to start going back and cutting the zip ties. Just like that. Quick fitting, Teflon tape, Haltech locking air truck. You need eight of these. One more to go. 
Okay, so I'm gonna assemble the uh, manifold. My, I got my plug here on the bottom. My other plug on the second hole on the top. Just tighten it down. Like that. Next up, pressure gauge. Don't tighten it right here using the gauge. You have to get a, a wrench and tighten it from the base here. One time I was twisting it on the gauge and it, the gauge fell off, so you don't want to do that. So the sliding valve. Pressure relief valve goes right here and it comes with several springs that you could swap out. So what I went, I used the red spring. It's rated for 51 to 100 PSI. So. That's the manifold. So all we have left, we're going to remove these plugs right here, and on this side is the ball valve, on this side is the quick fitting, we're going to use the Rago mounts to hold it together. Alright, so the uh, Rago air compressor mount is ready to go. The wifey air manifold is already mounted to it. Okay, so I got all eight of these already made. Now all we gotta do is uh, measure out the hose from the wheel well to the wheel. To measure your hose, what you're gonna do is take one end, hold it up to the strainer valve at the top, take the other end, to the bottom of the wheel and then cut the hose from there so you take that one hose and you make three more all the same size get your uh, locking air chuck with the quick connect fitting just put them on each side of the hose just like that all right, so we got the ARB air compressor. So what we're gonna do is mount it, mount it to the Rago fabrication air compressor mount. As you can see, I already got the wifey air mount on there and the manifold all put together. So let's mount the air, air compressor now. I'm going to place the air compressor mount right on top of it. So what we're gonna do is get the hardware ready. So you're gonna get the bolt, the lock washer, and the washer. And just start See these holes right here? Just start bolting it up. All right, I got my four bolts in. Let's tighten it down. Okay, we are now going to get the wiring ready. So here's the wire harness that, that came with the air compressor. What you're going to want to do is add some ring terminals. You can combine these two black ones. There's a real thin wire there along with the thicker gauge wire for ground. And then the two reds can be combined into one. So red is positive, black is negative. Okay, so I got the wire harness ready to go. This is a 
This wire right here is coming from the uh, switch from inside the cabin. And this is the wire harness that goes to the air compressor. So we're gonna go ahead and get the air compressor, plug those in, and mount it right here. So here's the air compressor. Let's plug in the harness. that so we got these uh, two bolts right there on the side and then another one down here that one's gonna be a little tricky to get to probably can't show okay so I'm gonna tighten up these two bolts on the side here Okay, so I have that hose coming from the splitter. It's gonna go in right here. Just like that. What we have here is the ARB air up kit. This one I highly recommend getting. This is good for your uh, plan B in case anything should fail, which, you know, I don't think it will, but you never know. So what I use from here is the splitter right here and also the quick connect. I already got the Teflon tape on there. Um, and this elbow right here, this is what I picked up from Home Depot. We're gonna get the elbow in right there. We're gonna get this fitting. It's up next, so I'm gonna put it right there. Just like that. And then this one, we're gonna put right there. Take this rubber piece off. Just like that. Put the rubber piece back on. And then the steel braided hose up next. And the other end on this side. So with these uh, round air filters, you're going to want to put these on before you mount the air compressor. I should have did that first, but now i got to take the whole thing apart and put those on. No tangles.
So with the sliding valve, just lift it up. Now we're airing down four tires at the same time. All at 21. Valve is closed. Both of them are closed. Turn on the air compressor. pressure usually I'll give it like 30 seconds to a minute to catch up but um, let's see where we're at right now all right all at 36 turn off the air compressor And we can disconnect all the hoses. Just like that. And then just tuck it. Fits nicely in there. Or you can put it back here. Or like in the forerunner, I have this pocket. I usually put it back there. You can put it anywhere. Small enough. Got this little pouch right there. It probably fits in there. Anywhere. So we got this uh, sponsored by white people on this right here. This is called Air Up A Buddy. This is what you're going to do. Just take the air chuck off of one of your air widths. Take both of them off. Put this to the side. With this extra hose here. got three three ends put the air check on one and the air check on the second one and then this one this one goes into your air compressor just like that okay So because I don't have a buddy next to me, I'm just gonna use this Tacoma. Oh, see, it's already airing down. So when you're airing up a buddy, it's the opposite. Up is to shut it, shut the uh, flow of air. So make sure that's up. Just like that. So let's pretend this is our buddy. Okay. So 
So what we're going to do, we're going to air them down. You can only do two at a time, okay? Go down. So when you're airing down your buddy, it's the opposite. To stop the flow, you pull up. So it balanced out. We're at about 22, 23 maybe. Turn on the air compressor. Let's air up a buddy. But since I got no buddy, So we could leave this open like that. What we're gonna do is turn it on. There you go. All at 36. And that one's Arapa Buddy. Okay, one more thing. We got this ARB Arap kit. Single hose. What you can do here is um, you can use this to air up a air mattress, bicycle tire, your ti single tire, ball. Comes with some different types of uh, nozzles. Let's see, right here, you got a, a few tips right there, but uh, let me show you something. So after you use it, let's turn on the air compressor. So this thing is loaded with air, so if you're not careful, you gotta hold it. If you don't hold on to this, this this end right here is gonna shoot out, could hit you in the head or your eye, or whatever. Someone might get hurt. So always hold on to this when you release it. There you go. And that's it.